Halo. Apa kabar semuanya? Welcome back to this tutorial, step by step tutorial. And today we're going to talk about queuing the data. All right. So to queue the data and to see the data that you have uploaded. Remember that uh, just a bit of summary. You put the data inside EF. EF, which stands for data frame, and which is a pandas. Uh, is a pandas. Uh, is data frame. It's a pandas extension object. So it's an object that you use in order to store your table. Therefore, that's why this now is a EF data frame. Okay. All right. So now uh, let's do some head and tail analysis. Okay. So to view the data, we can do uh, just the F. So the F you can get the whole and uh, uh, the whole observations. So in total is until fourteen nine nine eight or almost fifteen thousand rows and ten columns. Okay. But if you want to get the top five, you have to get a very nice understanding of the data. And go on step five and do the tail and tail. So this is useful because you can see the the fairly directly from the table, and then you can see like in a very quick way whether there are some odd values. Because most likely that the weird values, special characters, something that is some missing data or very dirty data is usually at the front, at the head, or at the tail of the data sets. So once I see that there is none, it works fine, everything is good, then we can say that the data looks clean. And in fact that we don't need to do much transformation there. Right? But of course, apart from that, let's try to do a bit more viewing the data analysis so that we can get a nice fix of what it contains. Alright? So finding the data type, so I can do the F dot D uh, type. Okay, so you can do tab for auto completion and then control enter, run it, and then you will see the type of data for each um, for each predicted of variables. Okay. So so for float sixty four, it identifies decimal points. So for example, those numbers that have decimal 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and not a concrete number like one or two integers, then it's considered as floats. Okay, decimal numbers. But for those like two, one, five, one, three, without any decimals per se, then it will considered as integer. And cells and salary is object because those are not are numerical, those are objects, let's say, because they represent string or text, right? Okay, but note that here that you find something that's very weird. For example, like promotion last five years, if you see here that it's only like zero, or maybe work accidents, only like zero, and time spent companies in the street, it might not really represent number, but it might be just be a color. Categories. I'm going to let you know after um, after the following describe uh, method. So the F dot describe. Okay. So basically, it does the same thing, but with all the numerical values. So if you, if you see here, like this, it takes things in mean, standard deviation, minimum, uh, the quotas, Q1, Q2, Q3, and finally max. But it's still a bit hard to see. So what we can do, we can transform it. So we can dot T, capital T, which stands for transforms. So basically it oh sorry, transpose. So basically it transpose the columns to rows, rows to columns, etc. Alright. And I can do that and arguably it is easier to see. Alright? So in total I have seven numerical values, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight numerical values, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and floats, including the float, so seven, eight. All right. Okay, and you can see the counts, you can see the means, you can do standard deviation. But most importantly, what you want to see is maybe this mean to max. So if you see the mean to max here, you see that work accident left promotion last for five years is actually only zero and one. Why is it? It's because that these numerical values doesn't mean 
uh, how many, but it means it's a coded category. So for example, for left, if a person is leave or not, if it doesn't leave, then I will represent it as zero binary. And if it uh sorry, if it leaves, then I represent it as one. If it doesn't leave, then I represent it as zero. The same thing with promotion. If there is a promotion, I will represent it as one. No promotion, I will represent it as zero. So it's not really integer value per se. So we need to keep this in mind. Alright? Then another thing is the uh, um Okay, the rest looks fine, so the rest we can take it as the intended value, and that is good. All right, but for these three work accidents left and promotion last five years, then we need to do some more um, cleaning up before we do some model generations. All right, let's do some exploration first. Really. Okay, but this describe is only numerical values. How about if we want to describe non-numerical values like the objects, the cells category, for example? Then we can do that. Have to describe. So tap for auto completion. So bracket. And you can do shift and tap on Windows, or equivalent of shift and tap on Mac. And you can just shift and tap once to get the box. Uh, shift and tap twice to get a very um, expanded box, and three times to get a very nice column just for help. And you see here there's an include. And what is include exactly? So include uh, for object types, the index will include the count common. Okay. So include uh, there you go. Include, exclude, list, list, or so basically you can use include if you want to put some objects or things that are non numerical values. So I put include and equals and can do a bracket with object. So I run this and the sellers and salary. So it is good because now I can see what are the sellers and what are the salaries. So salary is low, medium, and high, and sellers is yeah sales, right? Or in other small simplified way, then we can just do the app dot info, and you can see everything in a clear one command lines. So you can see that these are what kind of uh, data is it, numerical, non-numerical, decimal, or integer. And you can see whether that is null or not. In here, you can see there's no null. So nulls represent missing values. So it's good. And next on, we can conclude that the data provided by Kegel is, in this case, is a clean data and good for the sake of tutorial so that we don't need to spend much time cleaning up. And we can explore more. But in reality, in a real data set, there should be some missing values, and you need to sort replace it while you're doing your analysis. So with that, next uh, next in the future, let's talk about data exploration for the next video, and I'll see you next time. For that, terima kasih and sampai jumpa. Goodbye.